guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, I just wanted to come and show you guys my Valentine's Day makeup look for Valentine's Day. And um, before I get into how I did it with uh, like a tutorial and the products I used and everything, I just wanted to put a disclaimer and tell you guys that I am not actually a beauty guru. I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. Well, I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything. Um, so if you came to this video thinking you were going to uh, get tips in a tutorial from somebody who was a makeup artist or a beauty guru, I don't want you to think that that is the case. That is not the case. I'm not a professional. I'm not a beauty guru. I just enjoy playing with makeup. And probably a lot of you that are watching this video can probably do this look a lot better than me. But... I still love it. I got lots of compliments on it today and so I'm really excited to show you guys the products I used and all of that. So I just wanted to sort of go over that a little bit with you. But yeah, this is my makeup look. Um, and the other thing I want to tell you guys is that I'm going to be taking a little bit of a long hiatus from the internet so i'm not going to be using facebook or twitter or youtube or instagram or tumblr or anything like that i'm not really sure for how long it's going to be um but we just have packing and moving to do and we're moving sooner than we expected so now we have to put a rush on it um and <clears throat> i just need a breather <laughs> um so yeah i just decided because i have some things i have to deal with um that it was time for me to take a little bit of a break. So, yeah, I will be back. And um, the last thing I want to tell you guys is that I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Remember, it's not just about love as far as romance goes. It's about yourself and how much you love yourself and, um, you know, a good friend that you have. So if you don't have a significant other and you're not going on some special, like, romantic date this year, don't worry about it. Don't be discouraged. Take yourself out. Buy yourself something nice. Get yourself some chocolate-covered strawberries. That's my favorite. Um, and just enjoy the day because really all year we're supposed to tell people that we love that we love them. You know, it's not just a thing that we should do one time a year, it's all year. And <clears throat> the most important person that you can show love to is yourself. So do that for me. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. And I will be back. I don't know when, um, but when I do, I'll have a new series about loving yourself in ways that you can do different things to show yourself more love and yeah I can't wait to come back and see you guys and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do to become a member of my family and I would love to hear comments from you um I would like to do like a Q&A or a TMI tag or something like that when I come back so if you want to leave me questions that would be awesome and yeah that's what I have for you guys I love you I hope you liked this video Bye. Okay, so as always, we are going to start off with a nice, clean, fresh face. And I used my lip scrub, Wild Apple, today that I got for Christmas. I love it. I just had some chapped lips and I wanted to make sure that everything was smooth. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is my Stay Matte Primer. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and use my Stay Matte from Rimmel. In classic beige I really love this speed feature you guys it's awesome that way I don't have to bore you with all the boring foundation stuff okay so this is my NYX concealer palette and as you can see I have a hit pan on it so I'm gonna have to go buy a new one um, just to get the colors that I want that I use and this is my makeup forever HD powder which I will be setting my face with and for my eye primer I'm going to be using the thank me later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Motts it's my favorite stuff in the whole world and I know I've told you guys that before so I probably don't really need to repeat it but I decided to tell you anyway <laughs> Um, and I know that this brush has makeup on it already, but that's because uh, I had already dipped it into the colors that I wanted to use and forgot to show you. So, um, I'm just going to be using this third shade in this rose palette from CoverGirl. Um, and it's just kind of like a pinky purple color. 
and that's going to be my all over shade and the brush I'm using is my crown brush and it's double sided crown brush so the side that I'm using is for all over eyeshadow. And so yep, I'm just gonna use this whole color up to my brow bone. There we go, we got a little bit of a closer look at it for you guys. Just put it all over the eye. Um, up, I think I wanted to do right up through the brow, bo bo brow bone, and I just didn't get it as high as I maybe wanted to, but that's okay. And this is the other side of that crown brush, and I'm just going to be using that last dark purple shade that I'm pointing at, and that's going to be in the crease of my eye. And um, I just want to say here that um, this was hard for me to get as defined as I wanted um, so I just kind of kept blending it until I was happy with the way that it looked so yeah if you guys have um, any questions about that that's just what's going on I just was trying to get it more even than I was able to But that's what blending is for. You just blend, blend, blend until you are happy with what you have. And that's what I did. I just kept blending until I was happy with it. Now this is uh, tape. And what tape does is allow you to get in that corner, the outer corner of your eye with eyeshadow without getting it all over the place. Um, but I got it all over the place anyway. And this is my... L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Eyeshadow and this is in the color Plum. It has a bigger name but I can't remember what it is so I'll just put it in the description box for you. But I just thought it was such a pretty like plummy purple that I just had to have it and I'm using this in the outer corner of my eye and again this was causing me a little bit of an issue because I don't think I had the tape exactly where I wanted the tape and I didn't have it on as tight as I wanted it so it caused a little bit of an issue but I finally got it and I got the purple exactly the way I wanted it to look and it got all over so I definitely suggest when you use the rose palette from CoverGirl as well as the L'Oreal um like infallible what is it called um like little eyeshadow pots definitely use something under your eyes so you don't have all that fallout this is in I'm not really sure what the color is called again I'll have to put it in the description box but I just thought it was a really nice poppy pink color um, and I, I wanted to put the purples and the pinks together for my Valentine's Day look so um, yeah I had to do a lot of work here because I kept getting like a piece of like fiber from my um, cotton pads I was using earlier it kept getting stuck in my eyela uh, eyelid so yeah that's what that's all about and this is again the other side of my crown brush and I'm just using it to highlight the upper brow bone and it looks like really white um, but don't worry I blend it out and it looks perfect and does exactly what I wanted it to do it just kind of highlights that upper brow area and my eyebrows need some work for sure so yep Kelsey if you ever watch this you're gonna have to come over and help me with my eyebrows so yeah that is that and I'm just gonna go clean up this look here I am again with both my eyes done and uh, all cleaned up <laughs> and this is my Maybelline contouring blush and highlight palette and the first one is the contour the second one is the blush and the third one is the highlight and I am not going to be using the contouring because I still have to practice some contouring so we're just gonna do the blush and the highlighter today and you always want to find that cheekbone 
and um, I was told that it was like that line that goes from the corner of your mouth to your ear but I don't think that that's right on my face I think it's a little bit different I think it's more towards my temple um, but I still like where I have the blush so it's not a huge deal and this is just the highlighter And yeah, you guys, this pretty much completes the look almost. Um, I hope that you have enjoyed this. Oh, this is the eyeliner part. Um, I only did half my eye because the more you do of the waterline for your eye, uh, eyeliner, the smaller your eyes look. So I didn't want them to look as small and drawn in. You wanted them to look a little mysterious without looking too small. So I just did half the eye and I just think it's so pretty. Um, this Valentine's Day look also kind of reminds me of like the galaxy and like being in orbit in space and I just think it's so pretty. Um, and so this is, I have this lip primer or lip glossy thing comes from Estee Lauder and I've had it for a long time. This is my color blur Maybelline lip color. I forget what color it's in. I will leave that also in the description box for you guys below if you're looking to see what color it is. I thought because I went so bold on my eyes that I would be a little less bold on my lips, but it was still pretty bold. So, anyways, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this look, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you, and I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day.